Um, it's probably going to be the last because I'm actually starting to. We've got a bit of pee coming out now. Yeah, you can feel it. Oh, oh, oh. It's all happening. <laughs> so I, I was fortunate enough to be living in uh, on Planet Rock and Roll in England at the time. Uh, 1977, Elvis died. We saw punk rockers. We saw Teddy Boys. We saw the teenage subcultures going on. I fell into that. I, I started to hear, ah, Crazy Cavern, the Rhythm Rockers, ah, Flying Saucer, all these different bands that were coming out. And then they were shaking, Marie Marie! There was all that stuff going on. And then the, the, the beginning of the neo-rockabilly scene started. Of, uh, I'd heard about Levi and the Rock Cats, I'd heard of Buzz and the Flyers, I'd heard stuff. And I'd started to go to Birmingham, England, where I lived, close by Birmingham, and I'd see different bands. There was a band called a Dynamite Band. There was Paul Ansel, he was there, Paul Ansel doing his thing. And then one night I came along and I saw this band and they knocked me out. I was at the time trying to play guitar. I wanted a sound, I, want, I love the Cliff Gallup, Gene Vincent. I loved the Eddie Cochran thing, but I love the Gene Vincent type thing. There was punk rock at the time as well, so there was high energy. You wanted to kick ass on stage, and I saw it for the first time. I saw a band that were kicking ass, truly. It changed my life quite a bit, and I've only been a musician ever since. So you're, you're all responsible for it. Thank you. Uh, just give this... Uh, are you guys ready to rock? Why don't you just rock? Better on the edge of the drink. Yeah! 